Hello YouTube, welcome to the next hour of Night in the Woods, and I'm sorry I didn't state that in the beginning of the last video. I really should have. But yeah, let's keep, let's keep her going. Oh, what is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Question mark? Brochure. Hello? We're down here. Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at not. I... I can try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay. Are you up for this? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm, like, all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like, when your body is like, uh, whoa, I almost died. Oh, and life. you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Oh, Okay, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, Tiffana? Endorphins. Oh, uh, uh, okay. There. Thank you. Those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Uh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. I am the chosen one. Yep. And I can ride all of the dolphins anywhere I need to go. All the oh, oh it's my a whale. god. Do you remember this? <gasps> um from her dream? A little bit. This place. Huh. Hey, Tiffany. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. Y you were at the bottom of the old well in my back backyard. It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can <laughs> you go get it? <laughs> hey, Tiffany. Yeah? Wait. Was that Germ? Yeah. He's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <gasps> oh. My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're, You're the, the best, oh, Jerem. Not me. It's okay. I do it to you all the time. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Jerem, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small? Okay, that works. That's thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys.
There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Jerma's good. Jerma's a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. And they killed everybody. So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. <laughs> I would yeah, have. That's my boy, Angus. Mm-hmm. I totes would have. Uh. Me too. What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Hey, look, in my opinion, if the town was going to die, the town was going to die. Yeah, let it die. I don't see a lot of point in fighting a losing battle when you have to sacrifice people to win. Yeah, you could move. You could... Yeah, that's that's easier said than done. I know, but... But it's still better than the alternative they came up with. Yeah. So I'm with Angus here. They killed people. I would have shut that down so fast. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have even... That given it any first. time to think, I would have. It would have been my first thing. Is like, okay, I'm gonna come back with as many explosives as, as I can find. And this is done. This is over. You, you've had you you've you, you've had a good run. This was this was interesting to know about. The fuck you. Yeah. Screw, Screw him. him. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope that goes straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. I like Angus. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. What trolley thing? I don't know. I don't know this trolley thing. Hey guys. Uh are you there? Anyone? Okay. I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked into all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did. And I guess that's really scary. Like, who knows what's going to happen. But I guess you can, like, connect things. Or connect two things. Sometimes you need someone to be the thing you don't have even if it's something you're supposed to already have all of you are what kept me from floating off tonight also you kind of killed that guy to save me <laughs> don't think I didn't appreciate that lol am I ever going to have a handle on what just happened I kind of hope not I just hope it's over. I want us all to get free of it. I don't want us to just be part of some horrible story. I want to, like, grow giant and pick you all up 
and carry you someplace safe. Sorry, I I'm all rambling now. I just gotta believe there's ways to escape. Or at least move on. Germ. Buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. Weird kid. <laughs> I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. I don't know if better friends exist. We're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. If you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. <laughs> now I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh, shit. Haha, <laughs> guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. Oh, I got an achievement. Come on, wake up, Tiffany. You not-so-useless lesbian. Well, let's see what they all had to say. Who, boy? Who do I click on first? I choose you. Hey, Tiffany. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'll see you there. Hey, man. <gasps> nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. Band practice today... Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Away message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. I swear, Tiffany and Greg are just like me and you in real life. Very close, yes. Yeah. Without all the I hope bad things happen to you stuff, that that's that that we don't do that. No. The, but the rest of it, it's pretty close. <laughs> Tiffany, yeah. honey, is that you? Talk to your mom. Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen if you want to talk. Hello, mommy. Hey sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? I think you should just say sure. Sure, Mom. I... You're an adult. And you can do whatever you want. But you do live here. And you are still... My baby. Aw, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because, honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? That's... Yeah. Because I feel like that would lead me to be honest with her. I don't know. But that's like rub rubbing it off and going, oh, it's just been a tough year. Like, you know... Kind of like when... 
you're upset and someone asks you if you're fine and you don't yeah. want to like unload on them so you go yeah i'm fine yeah i don't i guess and, and since dr hank sucks at his job and tells her to just repress everything i feel like i should do the opposite yes why i'll understand i promise I don't even know how to talk about it yet, I don't think. What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is. Just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. Can we talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. Sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you too, mom. I feel like I've had a conversation very close <coughs> to that with my mother. I've had a few like that with my dad. Oh, shit. Hi, daddy. Hi, daddy. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. No. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, Dad. Why? I've mined. I've made glass. I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place? They just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but... I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies. And enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. And hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here? Listen, I'm gonna be around for dinner. Wow, what's the occasion? Well, Mom said we could make breakfast. Ooh, sounds good. I was gonna talk about some... stuff. Okay. Maybe we can talk about your stuff, too? Just one big, uh, stuff session. That sounds great, kitten. Love you, Dad. Love you, too. Be back later. I feel like something bad is gonna happen. Um. Hang on, I will be right back. All right, sorry about that. I had to turn the recording light on so no one came in here. And Selmers. Hey, Tiffany. Sup, Selmers. You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee... It's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Neither did I. Used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache, 
or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. <coughs> huh. I didn't know pills could make you pee. That's... You learn something new every day, I swear. So I assume that I'm going to the Snelkin. Anything new here? Oh. I wish... <sighs> that hurts to look at. Yeah. And I wish there was a better conclusion to all this. But I, I have the there feeling might that... might be. I, I have this foreboding feeling that the shit is going to hit the fan. Yeah, especially since your parent, since you told your parents you're going to be there. I thought... You are always around when weird things happen. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its, whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember him? No. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. And I feel like I should have woken up today and, like, have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well... In my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, Tiffany. Ha ha. Something is up with that guy, and I'm going to figure it out. Wait, how do you know my name? Uh-oh. Lord Janitor. <laughs> <laughs> that guy knows something. And not just my name. Holy crap! Uh, ah, a taco place. This is the best thing that's happened to this town since we got internet. We were still using Cyberfish until like two years ago, because it's eternally two decades behind here. Takes you three days to rent a movie. Takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Not good. Oh my god. They deliver. I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. So, you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means holding this sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky, falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news. My ex hates tacos. Good news. They're now your ex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. 
Hmm. Huh. Things are happening. Yeah. Well, look who's alive. Alive and well. Oh, my bad. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like relevant. Well, look who's alive and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Do brand practice? Yes. Yes. Mm, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to see. <sighs> Ugh. Great. I got to hear you sucking up. Oh, yeah. Jeez, that door never gets any less stuck. Worse when it's cold somehow. I'm so ready for cold weather. We just lost our cold weather. I know. Ugh, I hate winter. Okay, you're not my friend anymore, Greg. Winter's good, actually. Nobody here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. Oh, that was Tiffany. Oh, shit. It's cool. Like I said, I do it to you all the time. <laughs> Where would we even play if we wanted to? Hmm. I have no idea. Go play a few hall shows in Fort Lucene? Lucine? I'm going to say Lucene. Oh, wow. Those were fun. We'd be oldsters now. Yep. So, um, are you okay? I don't know how she's feeling, actually, but I'm going to go with the honest looking one. I mean, are any of us? I don't know. Angus slept pretty soundly last night. Hmm. Suspicious. Do you think those guys can get out of the mine? I guess they're gonna find out pretty quick. Do you notice anyone missing today? I don't know. But I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never can tell. Never can tell? This kind of thing happened to you often? Oh, all the time. So, like, I don't really get what even happened down there. With you. And the whatever that was. Atheist cat god. That one. This one? Yeah. Yeah, because Atheist Cat God. Uh, yeah, that. Um, it's old. Something older than anything I can think of. And you can feel it inside. And it's in a hole outside town? Yes. No. Like... The thing in the hole is... Jeez, I lost it. It's okay. It's like... A porch light that's on. And there are all these bugs around it. And then the light goes out. And there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was... Telling you about on the couch last night. God, that was last night? Seems like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah.
It's going to be weird when you're gone. Well, I mean, you've already been gone. And you've been gone at least once since you got back. You're a goner. Like, last night, it feels sometimes like there's so much horrible past, and it's still here. You're like swimming in it. And you can't have a future. Nah, brah. Nah, brah? That's it? What was our biggest crime ever? Bringing a horrible robot son into the world? And then leaving him to haunt the woods out by the highway? Actually, it was probably trapping those dudes in the mine and leaving them for dead. That was self-defense! All of that stuff, like today's different now, because that happened. We're different. Yeah. So, like, things change. I guess. Like you said the other day in the woods. Gonna be different because we were here. That's something. Something, something, something. They killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive? Or tell them he's, a, he's in a bottomless hole? In a tunnel? In the woods? With a bunch of guys who are going to be dead soon. Um. Oh boy. Okay, so a discussion between me and you for our viewers. Huh? In all seriousness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um, Casey was their friend. So let's say, like, if it were me, Samuel... And I was missing for a super long time. And then you found out that I was dead. And it was some really weird things that happened to let, that led to me being dead. Would you go tell my very distraught father that I was no longer alive? I would tell somebody else. Like would... policeman or somebody. But I would not yeah. tell your father. At the... No. I couldn't do it. So, do we tell them? Or do we keep the secret? What do you think? I think, realistically, if we chose that option, we would be contributing to this horrible, awful thing that has been going on for a super long time, probably, and nothing would ever get done about it. So you think we should tell them? But if we do tell them, we're giving two people closure. Then they know at least that they can mourn. And then they're not always stuck wondering. Because even though you said you would go to the police, that's still, in a way, that's yeah, letting that's people why... know, this happened to me, that's why I'm not here. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I'm just like, I kind of feel like, that should be what you should do. Okay. We should tell them. Okay. You get to figure out what we say. I'll let you know if I ever come up with anything. Sounds good. I think it's important that we know at least. Makes it mean something. I don't know how to say it. I think we might be the only things in the universe who care about anything, or even can care. Do you think any of this means anything? Or, like, meant anything? Hmm. Does it, Gregory? Hmm. 
<laughs> hey, babies. Hey, hon. Uh. Babies? How was work? Jeez, I'm sore from, like, everything. I ran into, like, a zillion bushes the other night. Basically, my body hates me right now. Gotta do stretches. So, like... Can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? Um... Um, I thought you, like, couldn't leave home. Eh, you guys are home enough. Or maybe I'll just visit for a while once you get settled in. Of course. Yeah, dude, that'd be rad. Hey, guys. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks for saving me last night. Like, repeatedly. Not even a problem, dude. We'll save you as many times as it takes. Hey, B. Hey, B. Dots. Are you gonna say something? I don't really know what to say. What in the hell even happened last night? <laughs> <laughs> there I am. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> oh, good. So I was just having the worst, weirdest nightmare ever. By the way, nice messages to wake up to. Oh, God. I was half asleep. Let's not talk about it. I think I twisted my ankle last night. Can we just, like, not talk about last night for the rest of the day? Uh, no promises. Can't we just play a song and get pizza? Tacos! And talk about this tomorrow? Sure. Whatever. We can all talk about it in therapy for years. <laughs> That's the spirit. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm supposed to go back to my parents. I mean, we have to go on, right? Obviously, the world is seriously screwed up, but we're all gonna die if we don't keep living. That's some bumper sticker shit right there. Hey, I know what I'm talking about. We gotta make plans. We gotta change things. We gotta play a goddamn song and get a goddamn pizza. This could be lunch, by the way. True. S okay, so, what are we playing? Something easy. Let's just get pizza. Oh, crap! What? Wait, that was it? Ah! Uh. That's so unsatisfying. I I hate everything right now. I'm going to wait until the end of the credits. I'm so pissed off. Like uh <sighs> Well, I guess they did kill those people. Jeez, uh, I thought there was something else going to happen. Yeah, no, I'm going to wait until the end of the credits. So we'll be back at the end of the credits. And I'm going to go back into the game. And figure something out. Because... This is bullshit. I think that was actually it, though. Okay, well, maybe I don't need to cut anything out here. Probably not. 
but I do want to say that that was probably it. Like, and I want to say that got that old man was. One of I have people. more questions than answers. Yeah. All right. Look, I hate it when games and books and stuff do that to me, but at the same time, I love it because then the story is never really over. I know. But, you know, because then you can talk about it for so long. But what if it's over? And if anyone, like, watched this and has played this or like, can leave anything in the comments to let me know if I screwed up somewhere. Oh, my God. Please do. Please. Okay. I guess it. Uh, oh, hello. So, Dancing Shark. <gasps> There was that video game. See if you have all the achievements, I guess. Yeah. I... Start new game? What? That was it? <coughs> <coughs> Ow. That that kind of hurt. Ow. This kind of hurts. This does hurt. I'm pissed. I feel so empty inside right now. Yep. This okay. Um not a not not climate not climatic climatic climat climat climatic climatic. I was finally going to talk Tiffany was finally going to talk to her parents about everything that was bothering her. But, I mean, I guess she did. She's going to. Or I wonder, like. I kind of didn't want to sit in that conversation. So, I wonder, like, if, if um. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my thoughts straight here. If I had the option to wander around town and then go back home and have that conversation there. I don't know. Um. But, yeah, we... I'm so pissed off. Again, I still have way more questions. There is a big gobbledygook that's going to destroy the town. Or... Maybe... And that Tiffany, thing. yeah, well, like maybe Tiffany put an end to it, and maybe the janitor was gently pushing her in that direction, or that janitor. Yeah, that janitor is all I have to say. That janitor. <laughs> yeah, well, like they were trying to bring Tiffany down there, right? Yeah. To take over for them. Yes. And she pretty much just said, no, fuck this. Mm -hmm. And fuck you and everything you stand for. But that means that the town is going to get destroyed by yeah. this thing. And we're talking about like... But like also it seemed like things were getting good. And she looked like she... And it seemed like Tiffany was making plans to leave anyway. Mm -hmm. But... And I guess her parents kind of seemed like that. But I mean... Just, I don't know. Just not. I. There was getting a top. There. I also seriously wonder, like, if maybe some of the decisions I'd made throughout the game, places I went, affected the outcome here. Like maybe I would have gotten a different ending or something. But we will come back to that later if we come back to this game. So thanks for joining us, for this rather disappointing conclusion. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.